Hello everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video. And today guys I'm going to work on my second Halloween special doll. Last week Friday I made the Queen of Hearts together with my mom and I think that doll turned out absolutely beautiful. The dress is just a masterpiece. But this time I want to make something a little bit different. I want to make something more spooky, something with more kind of body modifications. You know, every year for Halloween there must be at least one doll like this, really, with lots of body modifications, something more scary looking. And that's why this year I've decided to make Jorogumo. I'm probably butchering her name completely, I'm not a specialist in Japanese at all. But Jirogomo is a Japanese spider woman, she's a creature from Japanese folklore. And you know, she looks like a beautiful woman who lures people with her beautiful looks. And then she turns into a horrible spider and she traps them with her spider webs. So she has like two sides of her, the beautiful, the very luring side and also very scary spider monster side. So I think it will be a very interesting project, let's make it today. I'm very excited about it, I know you like these kind of bigger doll modifications and I really love them as well. So let's make Jerogomo today, but before we start this transformation, I want to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Skillshare. If you follow my channel for a while, then you know it of course that I've been a member of this largest online learning community already for years. And you know I always recommend Skillshare to others because it really helped me to improve my art and also my online business here on YouTube and it also helped me to become better at digital illustration, photography, video editing, time management because Skillshare offers really thousands of classes for creative people like us led by real industry experts and it can help you to take your career, your skills, hobbies, passions or some of your side hustles to the next level. And Skillshare improves all the time. I can see how much it has grown over the past years. Right now, for example, they've created a new class system, including smarter class categories. They have three new class topics, creative careers, creative inspiration, and AI and innovation. The last one is very relevant nowadays. And they also added the ability to find classes by software and material. When you become a new member of this learning community, you're being asked to share some information about your interests, so Skillshare can recommend classes that are perfect for you and for your personal goals. And you know, fall season always makes me feel like it's time to go back to school, to learn something new, and also, you know, what can be cozier than staying home following some interesting creative classes or working on some new creative projects. And my main goal for this fall season is to become more productive and to create more long and short form content for my YouTube, Instagram, for my TikTok. So I follow the class of Marcus Brown Lee, it's called YouTube Success, Script, Shoot and Edit. And it was really a useful one for me because Marcus is one of the biggest YouTubers in the world and his YouTube experience is absolutely huge. So it was really interesting to see how he plans, films, edits his videos. You know, I got many interesting and very practical tips from him. So I really enjoyed this class. It was fun, it was useful at the same time. So and it gave me a lot of inspiration and new ideas. I really appreciated the class. So, and if you're curious about Skillshare and if you want to join this creative community, you can explore it completely for free because the first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. So please guys, get started today and I'm sure you will enjoy it. So thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And now guys, let's start the transformation. And don't forget to subscribe, very important. Okay, let's use this new Dracolora doll for this project. You know guys, I think I should use this new generation of Monster High dolls more often in my work. After all, they've been on the market already for a couple of years, they're not that new anymore, so I can use them more often. But right now, let's undress this doll, let's remove all her accessories, hair and makeup, and then we'll start the real transformation.
Okay, everything is gone and I want to start this makeover with making her new face. Actually, there will be even two faces today. One will be spooky spider face and another one will be a mask of a beautiful lady that our Jerogomo uses to lure people into her arms. Let's make a mask first and I will use Warbler Thermoplastic for it. Yes, I think it will work, I think it looks very good, so let's put this mask aside for a while and let's make the scary spider's face first. And for this I will add 4 extra eyes to the doll's forehead and I will also glue some tissue paper around the new eyes and also on top of her forehead to imitate the textured skin.
Perfect, I love it already. So let's paint it and I want her to have a grayish skin tone. So I'm working on that first. I want all of her eyes to be completely black. I don't think I've ever done it on a doll, so let's make it today. Now we can paint the part that we sculpted, all this extra eyes, all this textured skin, I'm going to cover it all with black acrylics. And I want to try another new thing today, I want to try to make tears, or rather makeup that ran down with tears. And for this I will apply quite a lot of black watercolor pencil to her lower eyelid, and then I will add some water, and I will kind of paint the tears, I will let this water run, and then I will let it dry. And check it out how cool it looks after the water dries down. I'm very happy about it. I should use this effect more often actually. So now I want to add some sort of black freckles, but they won't be like regular freckles. But I see it rather like some sort of blackness spreading out to the rest of her face from this mask on top of her head. It should kind of connect the black and the gray parts of the face together. So I can go quite heavy on those freckles. And now I want to add some fantastic duochrome glitter to the top of the spider's head and I will also add green iridescent paint to all of her eyes. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, very happy with the face. Now I can blush her body, but you know, I want to add something first. Let's wait with blushing. I want her to have like a spider back part with eight long spider's legs coming out of that thing. So let's make it out of Warbler Thermoplastic.
I drill a hole on the doll's back to be able to attach this piece. And I think it looks really good. Now I want to cover it with tissue paper, the same like I did with her head, paint it black, cover it with glitter, like all the steps are the same like I've just done to her face, because I want to make both of the spider's parts of her body to look very similar. So this is what I've got, I think it looks really good and now I can finally blush her body.
Okay, this step is done, guys. You can see I've also added some spider stickers to her body as some tiny hidden marks showing her true nature. And now I think it's time to go back to her mask and to paint it, because to be honest, I've already almost forgotten that it existed. And I want it to look like a classic geisha mask, white skin, blush, red lips, black eyeliner, beautiful but quite simple at the same time. This is what we've made guys, I think it looks very good, absolutely perfect. Now I'm just trying to decide what I should make first, her hair or her outfit. Let's probably start with her hair because it will take for sure a day or two to dry, so I better start working on it early. So I quickly turn acrylic yarn into ideal shiny black hair and I'm attaching it to the doll's head using tacky glue.
couple of days later, when everything gets dry, I can style her hair and I want to go for something cute, kind of to create the extra contrast between her scary spider nature and the angelic form that she can take. So I think something like this will work really well on her. Now it's finally the outfit time and I will use this pink shiny beautiful fabric. It will also create the contrast between the pink and beautiful dress and her beautiful mask and her spider's real face. So I will make sort of a traditional kimono but the skirt will be more flowy and very long at the back. I think it will look pretty. So this is it, this is what I've made, I think it's a very pretty outfit, I feel very proud of myself today. Now let's work on her shoes and I want to customize her original shoes. They have a very nice shape, so I will just cut off this strap on top and I will cover the top of the shoes with tissue paper, cover it with black paint and with glitter, similar to her hat and to the back spiders part, I think it will kind of bring everything together. These are the finished shoes guys, I think they look amazing and I think that they really match the rest of her look, this combination of black and scary and pink and cute, it all really works well together. So now I think we are finally ready to take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, here is my finished Jorogumo and you can see that I added lots of spider webs to make the pictures and now I think she's complete and she's absolutely perfect. And I think I've reached the initial goal, she really combines the scary and beautiful parts in her look. When her face is covered under the mask, she's a beautiful young lady. When she shows her true face, you want to run away and not deal with this creature because she looks really spooky. So I really love everything about this doll today, both of her faces, the outfit, the spider's legs. I think she's absolutely ideal, really the perfect monster doll. 
I don't know, what do you think guys? Please let me know in the comments, let's discuss this doll now in the comment section under this video and also please don't forget to watch my first Halloween special video, the Queen of Hearts, again my mom has made another masterpiece outfit for that doll and if you want to buy this doll, you can find her on eBay for a week, the link you will find in the description box under this video. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week, I really hope you enjoyed it today and if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and I will see you very soon in my next video, probably next week, Friday or in two weeks, I don't know, again, working on a whole bunch of projects and have no idea when I will be able to finish all of them. So guys, see you soon, love you, have a nice weekend, bye!